Ahmed Ishmael is the co-founder of House, an incubator for young creative entrepreneurs alongside Canadian artists The Weeknd and Lamar Taylor. Today we're going to talk to him about his audacious journey from a regular kid growing up in Scarborough to a globally recognized business leader. Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of The Roads Less Traveled. I'm joined today by my co-host Richard Trevisan, brand director of Genesis Motors Canada. And our guest today is Ahmed Ishmael, co-founder of House. Ahmed, why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about yourself? My name is Ahmed Ishmael, co-founder of House, also founder of Influencers PR. 2020 has been an incredible year for House. There's been a lot of growth. Can you talk a little bit about that growth and the experiences that you've had this year? So we were on a great course up until February of 2020 this year, where we were coming up with so much programming that was beneficial to the growth of our community. And then COVID hit and we realized that what we started and the momentum we created couldn't take a back seat. So we had to find different ways to get into the community, then pivot. And since we were a new company, we were already fresh on our feet in our thinking and we were able to um, come up with different funds, grants, support systems, helping entrepreneurs with the city of Toronto. We've raised a million dollars to give back to entrepreneurs in the gig economy. We went from that to just working with the Canadian government and announcing Black House. And after Black House, we decided to continue that effort for BIPOC entrepreneurs and work with the prime minister and his team to announce the, um, the Black Entrepreneurship Fund, which is a $225 million entrepreneurship fund that will help black entrepreneurs that have always been, you know, prevented from starting their own businesses because of banking issues or, you know, lack of investment and in capital. The best way we felt out of a recession was through creativity. So we led by that in everything that we were doing in 2020. And now I guess everybody's really started to find out about what we've been up to because we're an overnight success 10 years in the making. Um, shifting over to your personal journey, what would you say, you know, based on your experience, how does that embody the concept of taking the road less traveled? The road less traveled has always been to me doing things that nobody else wants to do and doing them first and doing them right. When I moved to Canada, I think the first job I got was in grade five as a crosswalk guard, you know, and then my big groundbreaking job was a valet at the Royal York Hotel parking cars. The crosswalk guard is kind of what I do every day in business. I take my clients, safeguard their brand, safeguard their interests, and cross them to another side, which is growth development. Same thing with house and everything we do with our students. And they come through the program, but they cross over. When I became in valet, it was a great way to learn hospitality through driving some of the most audacious and crazy cars I've ever seen. And they inspired me to do more with my life because you know, I could be more than a valet. So we talk about a sense of community, uh, being first to market, uh, that underlines this theme of, around being audacious. So for both of you, how do you define being audacious? Richard, we'll start with you. So Genesis, why, why are we audacious? So we launched four years ago with a totally different business model, first of all. So that was being extremely audacious. But then when you look at the market situation, 70% of our future customers and, and the automotive customers are looking for SUVs. What do we do? We launch with sedans. We really need to shape the brand and explain to the customer what Genesis is about in a basic but very strategic uh, audacious strategy. Right. What about you, Ahmed? How do you define being audacious? Being audacious is taking risks that nobody wants to take, but there's a value in being first, but it's also a value in being right. So we want to be the first to be right. So everything that we've done at house, you know, it wasn't coming from a group think mindset. It was coming from a situation where, you know, the best idea wins. So we would go in a room and all our friends would come up with different strategies. And it was almost like a Ouija board of consensus. You know, where we land is where we go. So I think audacious for us was to say that we wanted to be a global entrepreneurship hub that was based out of Toronto. What would be your best advice for someone that wants to embody and pursue the path of entrepreneurship? Anybody who tells you is easy is not your friend, you know? or it's not giving you real advice. There's a, a level of loneliness that you feel in entrepreneurship that by the time that you make it, 
you, you, you almost forget the success because you still are in that mode of being, you know, in the hole. So I would say the best advice I would give entrepreneurs is to work hard on perfecting the product because you only get one chance to reveal it. When you have a product that's really good, that you took your time with, it sells itself. So I think that's my advice to entrepreneurs is wait, don't rush to fail. If it's something that you know you believe in, it's good to have a couple of iterations of it, you know, scribble it, write it down, try it, and don't cheat that grind. Because when you walk into somewhere, you know you feel it. You know you feel it, you can't hide it. You know people who put in their time and effort into research and authenticity and originality. You feel it, you feel it in every product that you've ever bought. Can't cheat the grind, preparation and research, and I guess really enjoying the journey, so to speak, Absolutely. versus always focusing on the final destination. So on that note, thank you so much, Richard and Ahmed, for joining us on this episode. And thank you for joining us on this episode of The Roads Less Traveled. If you're interested in learning more about the Genesis product lineup, or how to reserve your own Genesis experience, head over to genesis.ca. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.